Hey dolls, Ms. Beat Basics here. I want to welcome you back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to thank you so much for all of my new subscribers. I have been noticing that my numbers have been climbing in very small increments, but they have been climbing. And as I've said before in the past, I am very proud of that number, even though it is small, because everything that I do here on my channel, I really have a lot of fun doing it. And it's good to know that you get a little bit of feedback, even if it is just by the subscription number going up, that people are actually enjoying your videos and watching them so honestly I feel so grateful and so thankful for all of my new subscribers all of my old subscribers from the beginning I want to thank you so much and thank you for sticking out with me and believe me there's so much more good stuff to come so please stay tuned and definitely Miss B Basics will not let you down okay dolls so today we're gonna be getting into a review a little bit of a chit chatty about this makeup company that I have been loving on since they basically first pop they've been around since la like early last year 2015 they're basically based out of Baton Rouge Louisiana they have the most amazing highlighting products that you have ever seen in your life I know you've probably heard about them on Instagram and different uh, social media but I find that not a lot of people are doing a lot of videos about their products and I don't know why because their highlighters especially are phenomenal I cannot get over the pigmentation the quality the lasting power of it I find that some people are saying that uh, they are a bit on the chunky side for me personally you guys know how I feel about a good highlighter I love to glow and I love to shine to the gods so definitely the stronger the better and of course we're all gonna find a way to make it work so we don't look crazy but you know I like to have fun with my highlighters yes ladies I am talking about JD glow cosmetics this is one of their highlighters. I just picked a random one up just so I could show you the packaging because I'm rambling and you'll know who I'm talking about. But yeah, basically JD Glow Cosmetics, like I said, they've been around since last year. I haven't, I, I, I mean, I've seen a lot of uh, people posting pictures on Instagram and everything about their makeup and everything, but they just, for me, I feel like they're not getting the right amount of exposure and I'm sure it's just because they're new and you know every makeup company has to start from the bottom and rise up but definitely I am doing this video today so that I can inform you about JD Glow because if you don't know about them trust me you are sleeping on something that will do your makeup game justice believe me so basically today I'm gonna be getting into a few of the highlighters that I have here I think they have around 12 or 13 highlighters in all on their website like individually sold I can check that out I'll look it up on my phone so that I'm accurate with the information that I'm giving you I personally only have nine of them and I'm very happy with all of them two of them are from the newer collections and I grabbed a couple of their eyeshadows the other day oh my god I have never seen anything this beautiful, this pigmented and this different in the longest time for somebody with a deep chocolate rich dark skin tone like myself especially in the summertime I get a little bit darker I need my shadows to show up girl trust me and when you have to be struggling or doing like a million times you're going back and forth trying to get the color to show up yeah it's defeats the purpose and who has time for that I know I don't so definitely with JD glow their eyeshadows are off the chain I only got two of them from my most recent order because I wanted to play it a little frugal to see how I like them first before I grabbed a whole whack of them but now that I have them oh dolls you best believe I will be going back and getting more I am in love love with the pigmentation the quality how they 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 just they're like it's like it's like wet uh eyeshadows that you're putting on your face this is how strong the pigmentation is and i mean like i said with my chocolate deep skin tone you really need that uh, color to show up and these are not disappointing by any means so Without further ado, and all the rambling that I've been doing, let's get into some swatches because I also got some lippies from them as well. But let's get into that, okay? So here we go. Oh. Okay, so first up, I'm going to start off with a few lippies that I got. And like I told you, I only got a few of their eyeshadows, but that is going to change very soon. I'm going to swatch those two for you. And then I'm going to get into the highlighters because that's the, the, the bulk of what I wanted to talk yeah, about. Yeah, so with here you. is the packaging for the lippies. Nothing special, just comes in a regular box, you know, has JD Glow across the front of it as you can see there but can I just can we just take a moment to appreciate the awesomely beautiful and glamorous packaging of these lippies I mean are you kidding me right now look at this I have never seen anything like this like on the market so far unless I've been under a rock and I haven't seen it 
this is the first time I've ever seen something this glam and this pretty. I mean, maybe some people might think it's a little too much going on. I personally love it. And I have actually got a chance to wear one of these colors. They wear, um, I can't even, I'm not even going to continue talking about it. I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you. Look at the moussey formula, first of all, on it, which I just absolutely love. Let me just show you how, the, how pigmented it swatches. Look at that. One swipe. Okay, and this is how it goes on your lip. Like, it's moussey. It doesn't, it's not um, drying at all because I've worn it for a full day. I didn't have to do any tweaking or anything like that. I just wore it just like that, and it is beautiful. I have no complaints. This color that I'm showing you right now, this dark, rich color here, it's, um, I would say this is a very deep wine, um, maroon kind of color. It, it has red in it anyways, is the point I'm trying to make. And the color is cranberry. It's kind of hard to see it on that little circular tab there at the bottom. But this color is called cranberry. And there again is the swatch in the so back of my So second color up here is deja vu. Like I said, the little tab is kind of small, so you might not be able to make it up. Same awesomely glamorous, gorgeous packaging. And there is the color straight through the tube there, so you can actually see what it is when you have it, you know, in your stand or whatever, so you don't so have to do the same there. There's deja vu. Let me get a little more on the wand here. I'm going to swatch it beside Cranberry. And there she is. Isn't that color pretty? I mean, really so pretty I mean and I find that these colors are not streaky at all like let me just show you because I just put a little bit more on so you can see there is deja vu isn't she beautiful it's that kind of I don't know like um, a lilac gray kind of neutral tone color I love colors like this give me a good brown lippy and I'm good to go I love colors like that so yeah there is cranberry okay and there is Deja Vu. Yes, those are the only two lippies that I got so far, but I am so going to be getting more because this formula is to die for. And they have some really unique, funky colors as well, so I will definitely be getting on that train. So, let's get on to the okay, next Okay, so now we're going to be getting into the few eyeshadows that I got, which are very few, but like I said, I'm going to be building up that collection very soon. So, and by the way, if you hear that kind of rumbling noise in the background, it's my little mini fan that's going on. I don't know what's going on. I'm in a basement. It's supposed to be cool down here but for some reason I am boiling so I have a little bit of a fan going on there so excuse the rumbling noise in the background if you can hear it okay all right so next up I'm gonna be talking about the two eyeshadows that I got and I'm sorry if this mirror is blind let me turn it away from you there it is okay so those two colors that I got the first color here is Ruby the second color is anomaly and both of these colors are phenomenal. I saw a few swatches of them on Instagram before I actually grabbed it. So I said, you know what, let me grab just a few just to see how they wear, how they hold up and all that good stuff. And then if I like them, I'll go back for more. I don't even know why I bother doing that. These shadows are amazing. Let me just swatch them and show them to you. They're so, so pretty. It's stupid. The Anomaly color, which is the blue color right here, is a duochrome color and believe me dolls when i tell you this is a duochrome color why am i even talking about it i'm just going to show you would you look at this blue i don't even think that the camera is doing there we go we're seeing a bit of a shift there are you seeing that shift it is absolutely phenomenally unique this color i know that there are so many duochromes out there on the makeup market but these ones, I find, actually do have a really strong Ruby shift. color is from their Metallin Shadows collection. So this is from the Metallin Shadows collection, the red one, Ruby. And the blue one, Anomaly, is from their Galaxy collection. And I'm going to swatch Ruby right now so that you can see how amazing this color is in real. I mean, really, one swipe. One swipe, that's all I did. One swipe on the, in the pan, one swipe on my hand, and that's how strong the color comes off. I mean, these colors are everything. Honeys, now we're going to get into the good part. Start talking about JD Glow Highlighters, which is the highlight of this company. For me personally, I just love, love their um, um, highlighters, as I told you. The so. first one I'm going to be talking about is going to be Beyonce, and this just happens to be uh, number two. Okay, just to show you 
how simple the packaging was when they first came out. I guess they just wanted to give it a test run, see how people would respond to it. And yeah, so this is the kind of crappy packaging that they came out when they originally uh, started uh, launching their product. But believe me, the, pack the product makes up for the crappy packaging because this is one of the most pigmented highlighters that I have ever owned in my life. Like, I just put a swipe across the back of my hand and when you rub this out, especially this particular one here, it has the most amazing pink, sh pinky, peachy shift to it. It is so pretty. Like, look at that. I don't know if it's picking up on a camera there, but it has like a really gorgeous kind of pinky peachy shift to it. One of my favorite highlighters from um, JD Glow Cosmetics because I love popping this in the corner of my eye when I don't know what else to put in my in the corner to kind of give it a little bit of life. I'll go for something like this because it's just universal and I find it goes with a lot of makeup looks. Yeah, so this is Beyonce. And I really hope that that pink shift is, shift is picking up on camera because okay, it's so Okay, so the next beautiful. one I'm going to be talking about is called Egyptian. This is probably one of the most goldy, goldish highlighters that I've ever owned. It is like real, true gold. There's no, um, there's no undertone to it, nothing. It's just gold, straight up gold. I don't know if that's translating on camera there. There we go. There it is a little bit. Now I want to give you a little bit of a backstory behind some of these highlighters. Now, like I said, I did order from them when they first came out, so they were extremely new when I ordered these highlighters. Had them sitting around in a cool place because I don't play when it comes to my makeup. I like to keep everything in a very cool temperature, especially being in the basement. It's ideal. But for some reason, this particular highlighter and uh, another one that I had, for some reason, let me just show you what I mean. When you run your hand across it, Something about it, it comes off extremely crumbly and it's just like the consistency of the product wasn't the same as when I originally anyway, had long purchased story it. And gave, uh, sent JD Glow a email, let them know what was happening and being as awesome as they are, because believe me, like I said, I bought these when they first came out, which was early last year. These guys sent me a code to be able to repurchase the two highlighters because it was only two out of the bunch that I had that actually went all weird. They sent me a code to buy those exact same two highlighters and all I had to do was basically pay shipping. But anyway, I, was I uh, phenomenal. got my highlighter back so I was very happy about that. So yeah, these are replaced. This is this one itself didn't get replaced because I didn't bother and uh, because it actually shows up a little bit better than the other one. This is it swatched on the back of my hand. If you can see what I mean, it has that kind of sticky weirdness to it. It doesn't blend out as it should. Like it, it's just like a glue. It doesn't, see what I mean? So that's what happened to that one. But like I said, I did get a replacement, you know, no, no love lost. I do love JD Glow very much. And like I said, because I had purchased it such a long time ago, the fact that they honored the fact that, you know, something was faulty with their product and sent me, um, it gave me a, a solution to my problem to me was phenomenal. I would definitely recommend them as an indie company to anybody who I know that's into makeup because that's the kind of customer service that's going to keep customers coming back and it shows that you actually care what your customer feels about your product, whether they bought it today, yesterday, last year. So just wanted to put that out there that they have phenomenal customer service. What I'm going to be talking to you about is number six. I should have been showing you guys the back of these from before, but anyway, this packaging is a little better to show it. It's more attractive. Number six, and it's Gabrielle Union, as you can see. And this is actually the new packaging that they have come out with. Oh my God, I almost dropped it. <laughs> Okay, that was a close call. Let my heart rate come back down so I can continue talking. Hoosa. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. So this is uh, the new packaging that they came out with after they got rid of this crappy packaging, which I think I have a feeling has to do with how the product itself keeps, but that's another story for another time. So anyway. This is Gabrielle Union, number six, and this is the new packaging, which I'm actually very happy with. It seems very solid, and it's much more attractive to look at as well. But would you look at Gabrielle Union? This color is everything. It is my, one of my second favorite color in this co in the whole um, all of their collection. I love this color so much. Gabrielle Union is such a universal color. I love it because I can wear it on its own, I can layer other colors on top of it without it being too overwhelming, which for me is perfect because, like I said a million times before, I love me a good highlighter and layering is not out of the rules for me. So, 
There's Gabrielle Union. I'm gonna swipe a little bit on the back of my hand there so you can see. See how buttery that is? Like, are you kidding me? When you me? spread the color out, you see the copper undertones there? Perfect for a deep skin tone like mine, if not deeper. Even a little bit lighter can wear this on as well and mix it with another color to get their own customized shade. Mm -hmm. Marilyn Monroe. And that's number eight. And here is that beautiful hue. Look at that, it's just so gorgeous. Look at that. It's got a really beautiful undertone. The only thing that uh, was kind of disappointing about Marilyn for me is I was, I had this, I don't know why, I had this idea that this had a more golden um, kind of under undertone to it. I find this is extremely, um, very, ashy on me it doesn't have that nice gold underlay like some highlighters you know you look at them like this but when you sweep it on it has that gold shift to it that just cancels out any kind of ashiness that you could ever think of this doesn't do that unfortunately this would be more suited for a fair skin person i think or i would take something like this and i would mix it with my gabrielle union to bring to make the color a little more rich and uh, more uh, friendly color friendly for my skin tone if you can see what I mean see it's extremely white even when you like turn it out of the light it's let me see if I can show that to you yeah see when you turn even when you turn it out of the light it comes off more cream than it does gold so it doesn't have that nice shift that I like for that I like when these high, these white lighters what sorry with these white kind of highlighters it doesn't have that strong gold shift that I normally gravitate towards but like I said I just ordered a bunch of them when they first came out so it was kind of a hit or miss and this unfortunately mixing it with a deeper darker but highlighter would be ideal because I think that would look awesome and actually as I'm sitting here talking to you I'm gonna throw a little bit of Gabrielle Union on top of it just to see how it mixes because I can't believe I've actually never tried this before myself like what's that all about right how can I call myself a makeup junkie and I haven't even tried it actually let me put on a little bit more so you can see how it looks right over the whole thing this is actually really really pretty it's like a lighter version of the Gabrielle Union color see look at that that can definitely be one wow I just discovered a new highlighter hello <laughs> but anyway yeah the two of them mixed together are absolutely beautiful this so next I'm gonna be, be showing you I actually jumped ahead and showed you Marilyn before this one and this is actually number six Marilyn is number eight so my bad <laughs> but anyway when I saw this one I was so blown away I was like oh my god what do you mean a green highlighter this is so pretty it's not even funny it's called pistachio. Can you see the green coming off on that? It's just a beautiful, beautiful color. It's not too green. It's just got a very subtle green to it. Hence it called being called pistachio, right? But anyway, yeah, this the green shift in this particular one is so the description pretty. and the information for everything down in the description box. So you can check it out on their website if you like or just to know what colors I was using, okay? All right, so this is pistachio. There we go, that strong first swatch. Love it. Can you see the green shift in there? I mean, this is so pretty. It's so different. And I love the fact that it's very a very subtle green. So even if you wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit out of the, out of your you know comfort zone, this is definitely the way to go because it's not too strong and you're still gonna get that. Um, unique color right the next one I'm gonna be talking to you is just it has a special place in my heart I love this color I love the fact that it can um, um, do double duty as a blush or a highlighter or both whatever because it's just that beautiful and sorry once again old packaging but whatever the product is awesome look at this color it is called rosé let me just show you the back of that first before I show you that the color it's called rose it's number four as you can see the numbers are jumping all around so going in numerical order didn't work out <laughs> but anyway it's number four the color is rose as i said look at how beautiful this color is it's just a blushy pinky like a deep blush pink color i just love this color it is so so so, so grand and dig into your product they just come the, the color payoff is insane Okay, so here is Rosé, one swipe deal, babies. Look at that. The color is so pretty. I mean, oh, 
Do I need to say anything? It's just so pretty. Look at that. I'm going to buff it up you so you can see. Anything else? It's just a beautiful color. But you're seeing the color on the back of my hand, right? Trust me, my chocolate girls, you need to get on this. You just need to. I, I have nothing else to say. That's it. <laughs> okay, let's so get the next color I'm going to be watches. talking to you about is called, um, let me show you there, Socks Fifth, Socks and Fifth, and this is number six, number nine, my mistake. This is a number nine shade, Socks Fifth. This color is the one that I would always, yeah. <laughs> this is the kind of shift that I really like. This has that beautiful gold shift, even though the highlighter itself is extremely white looking as you can see there okay it has the most awesome gold shift to it like i can't i'm obsessed with this highlighter like i love using it to layer over other things look at that you saw me swipe it back and forth there but it was this is just one little thing in the pan and then i just went across my hand and started to wipe it out before i showed you my mistake but yeah this is saxon fifth and look at the gold shift let me see if I can show it to you guys because it's showing up here like nobody's business but I don't know if it's gonna translate on camera let me see there see that gold shift there it is just so beautiful it has no white cast I absolutely love it I'm actually wearing it right now as I told you and um, I have on uh, Gabrielle Union underneath this and then I just put a little bit of Saxon fifth over top of it just to give it that gold shift so that's what you're seeing on my face right now and it doesn't have a white cast as you can see it's really pretty and that gold shift is just to die for serenity. I love it. Okay. And that is number 12. All right. Same nice packaging. Like I said, I'm sure they have there's other packaging out there that's better. I know that this isn't the best packaging in the world, but considering what they're coming to to where they are now, believe me, this is really a step up. But I do love how thick and chunky it is. I don't mind that at all. I can throw it in my purse. I'll find a way to put this in my purse. I don't care. <laughs> but anyway, here's the color. Look at this beautiful kind of peachy. Is that picking up? There we go. It's like a peachy, pinky kind of color. Like I said, this is another one that can double as a blush if it's too much for you as a highlighter. Me, personally, I don't care. I'll wear it as both because today I'm actually wearing it in the... Um, let me just zoom in a little bit so I can show you. Okay. I'm actually wearing it in the corners of my, my tear duct here. I'm wearing Serenity in the corner because I really wanted to give this orange eyeshadow kind of a pop. And let me just let that focus in. There we go. Yeah, so in the corners of my eye, there is I'm serenity. sure if you have a lipstick or something like that, you want to add a little pop to it, put a little bit of this in the center of your lip, and you're good to go because the colors just pop and they blend and mix with everything cool. so kind well. Of, uh, undertone to it from what I can see because when I just now when I smeared it on the back of my hand, it just had a really strong shift of coral. Mm -hmm. it's so it's really okay. pretty. So on to the last shade. And last but certainly not least, because I have way too much makeup for it ever to end. <laughs> anyway, I hope it never ends. But anyway, here's Pure Bliss. Okay, that is the last shade of the bunch. This is shade number 12. Alright. And this is the most beautiful gold. It's just... I want to call this more of an antique kind of gold because it's not a sh it's not as strong as a gold as Egyptian. It's got um it's it's got a little bit of um what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't have too much yellow in it. I find that this is it's a nice a very subtle gold, <laughs> as subtle as JD Glow Cosmetics can be with their highlighters because that is not a, a word I would use to describe their highlighters at all. But anyway, this color here is the most beautiful. So there's just gold. the little finger, one finger swipe here. Okay. Look at that gold. Look at the gold color to it. It's like, it has like a tan. I don't want to say tan. It's got more of a ten carat gold kind of finish to it. Not that punchy gold, but a very subtle kind of gold. So I guess this is one of the more subtle colors. So I take back my talk. This is a very good subtle color. And there it is uh, smudged out on the back of my hand as well. Really, really pretty. Okay, I really love these colors. 
I can't say enough of them. Like I said, they, they've been around for a very short time. Their colors are so pigmented, so pretty. They wear so well. And for us as women of as women of color, you know, finding something with good pigmentation and lasting power can sometimes be a bit of a challenge, especially when, you know, you're trying out these new companies and stuff. Some of them just don't get it. Definitely JD Glow is not one of them. They get it. They absolutely get it. Pigmentation is everything. I'm still, I know they're still probably working on their packaging, but as far as I can tell, with these lippies and the new packaging on the highlighters that are coming out, they're stepping in the right direction. I think I, I see good big things happening for them, but honestly, if you don't have any of their products, do yourself justice. Go and grab, you know, a couple of their highlighters, maybe a few of their eyeshadows, maybe one or two of their lippies. You will not be sorry. Their products are awesome. And like I said, I've been, I've been uh, ordering from them since they first came out. Customer service is great, and you can't go wrong, especially with, uh, like I said, good customer service, good products. How can you complain, right? So definitely give it a try if you haven't heard it. Now, on to some more, a uh, little bit of exciting news. Uh, for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be going on a road trip across, uh, um, I guess, across Canada, yeah, because we're going to end up in Nova Scotia, but we're taking the scenic route to get there. So, I, of course, I won't be able to post any videos for the next couple of weeks because we're going to be gone for two weeks. But I am going to be putting up some little bit of snippets of here and there on my Snapchat, you know, places that I visit. And when I come back, Knowing that we're going to be going through the States, I am so excited because I have never gotten a chance to check out an Ulta or the American um, Target or Walgreens or any of that stuff. So when we're passing through, oh, you know, I got my road trip down for my own personal uh, stops that I want to make because I'm going to be buying little make little bits of makeup here and there as we go along. So when I come back, I'm going to have a nice healthy haul to show you and uh, show you all the fun stuff that I am. Um, Talk, excuse me <laughs> talk about all the fun stuff that I did while I was there show you the haul that I got I got and everything and of course if you're following me on snapchat you can go ahead and check it out as I go along but um I love you dolls so much thank you so much for your patience I know I didn't post last week I just life has been crazy getting prepared for this trip and everything so I didn't get a chance to post last week so you know I had to post something this week and I had to tell you about JD Glow Cosmetics because I really do love that company and I would love to see more of my dolls out there you know benefit from some of their products because you will not be sorry so like I said, that does it for my review for, well not really review, just my little chitty chat about this company that I absolutely love and I got to tell you about the trip that I'm going to be taking, okay? I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was probably a little more chatty than I wanted it to be, but I hope you guys did enjoy that. I hope you uh, found a new love for JD Glow Cosmetics, I ha as I have big love for them, and you maybe go out and try some of their products. And I mean, if you really like this video, please like, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up, okay? And share as well. And until next time, dolls, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and we'll see you next time. Bye.